Welcome to Amazing Life, one channel guides today you watching Jane Fonda American Actress Lifestyle. Biography and beautiful photos, I hope you enjoy this video like share subscribe channel thank you. For watching video your favorite actress model singer celebrity biography photos images if you want. 2. See please comment. Starting. Biography Jane Seymour Fonda born December 21, 1937 is an American actress, political activist, and former fashion model. She is the recipient of various accolades including two Academy Awards, two BAFTA Awards, seven Golden Globe Awards, a Primetime Emmy Award, the AFI Life Achievement Award, and the Honorary Golden Lion, born to actor Henry Fonda and socialite Frances Ford Seymour. Fonda made her acting debut with the 1960 Broadway play There Was a Little Girl for which she received a nomination for the Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a Play, and made her screen debut later. The same year with the romantic comedy Tall Story, she rose to prominence in the 1960s with such films as Period of Adjustment 1962, Sunday in New York 1963, Cat Balloon 1965, Barefoot in the Park 1967, and Barbarella 1968. Her first husband was Barbarella director, Roger Vadim, a seven-time Academy Award nominee. She received her first nomination for They Shoot Horses, Don't They, 1969, and went on to win the Academy Award for Best Actress twice in the 1970s, for Clute, 1971, and Coming Home, 1978. Her other nominations were for Julia, 1977, The China Syndrome, 1979, On Golden Pond 1981, and The Morning After 1986, Consecutive Hits Fun with Dick and Jane 1977, California Sweet 1978, The Electric Horseman 1979, and 9 to 5 1980 sustained Fonda's box office drawing power, and she won a Primetime Emmy Award for her performance in the TV film The Dollmaker 1984 in 1982, she released her first exercise video, Jane Fonda's Workout, which became the highest-selling VHS of all time. It would be the first of 22 such videos over the next 13 years, which would collectively sell over 17 million copies, divorced from her second husband, Tom Hayden. She married billionaire media mogul Ted Turner in 1991 and retired from acting. Following a row of commercially unsuccessful films concluded by Stanley and Iris 1990, Fonda divorced Turner in 2001 and returned to the screen with the hit Monster in Law 2005, although Georgia Rule 2007 was the star's only other movie during the 2000s. In the early 2010s, she fully relaunched her career. Subsequent films have included The Butler 2013, This Is Where I Leave You 2014, Youth 2015, Our Souls at Night 2017, and Book Club 2018 in 2009. She returned to Broadway after a 49-year absence from the stage. In the play 33 Variations, which earned her a nomination for the Tony Award for Best Actress in a play, while her major recurring role in the HBO drama series The Newsroom 2012-14 and her to Primit. I'm Emmy Award nominations, she also released another five exercise videos. Between 2009 and 2012, Fonda currently stars as Grace Hansen in the Netflix comedy series Grace and Frankie, which debuted in 2015 and has earned her nominations for a Primetime Emmy Award and three screen. Actors Guild Awards Fonda was a visible political activist in the counterculture era during the Vietnam War. She was photographed sitting on a North Vietnamese anti-aircraft gun on a 1970 to visit to Hanoi, during which she gained the nickname Hanoi Jane. During this time, she was effectively blacklisted in Hollywood. She has also protested the Iraq War and violence against women and describes herself as a feminist and environmental activist in 2005. Along with Robin Morgan and Gloria Steinem, she co-founded the Women's Media Center, an organization that works to amplify the voices of women in the media, through advocacy, media and leadership training, and the creation of original content. Fauna serves on the board of the organization, 
Early life and education, Jane Seymour Fonda was born in New York City on December 21, 1937. Her parents were Canadian-born socialite Francis Ford Brocani, Seymour 1908-1950 and American actor Henry Fonda 1905-1982, according to her father. The surname Fonda came from an Italian ancestor who immigrated to the Netherlands in the 1500s. There, he intermarried, the resultant family began to use Dutch given names with Jane's first Fonda. Ancestor, reaching New York in 1650, Fonda also has English, French, and Scottish ancestry. She was named for the third wife of Henry VIII, Jane Seymour, to whom she is distantly related on her mother's side. Her brother, Peter 1940 to 2019, was also an actor and her maternal half-sister is Frances D. Villers Broca, also known as Pan, whose daughter is Pyler Corias. The owner of the Pyler Corias Gallery in London in 1950, when Fonda was 12. Her mother died by suicide while undergoing treatment at Craig Howe Psychiatric Hospital in Beacon, New York. Later that year, Henry Fonda married. The socialite Susan Blanchard, born 1928, 23 years his junior, this marriage ended in divorce. Aged 15, Jane taught dance at Fire Island Pines, New York. Fonda attended Greenwich Academy in Greenwich, Connecticut, the Emma Willard School in Troy, New York, and Vassar College in Poughkeepsie, New York. Before her acting career, she was a model and a ball star, played by Anthony Perkins, Frequent collaborator Robert Redford also made his debut in that film, one of the year's top 10 films at the box off. Ice, it was considered by many to have been the film that brought Fonda to bankable stardom. The following year, she had a starring role in The Chase opposite Robert Redford, in their first film together and two-time Oscar winner Marlon Brando. The film received some positive reviews, but Fonda's performance was noticed by Variety magazine, Jane Fonda, as Redford's wife and the mistress of. Wealthy oil man James Fox makes the most of the biggest female role. After this came the comedies Any Wednesday 1966 opposite Jason Roberts and Dean Jones, and Barefoot in the Park 1967. Again co-starring Redford Dodd in 1968, she played the title role in the science fiction spoof, Barbarella, which established her status as a sex symbol. In contrast, the tragedy they shoot horses, don't they? 1969 won her critical acclaim and marked a significant turning point in her career. Variety magazine wrote, Fonda as the unremittingly cynical loser, the tough and bruised babe of the dust, bowl gives a dramatic performance that gives the film a personal focus and an emotionally gripping power. In addition, renowned film critic Pauline Kael in her New Yorker review of the film noted of Fonda, she has been a charming, witty nudie cutie in recent years and now gets a chance at an archetypal character. Fonda goes all the way with it, as screen actresses rarely do once they become Stein in the 70s. Fonda enjoyed her most critically acclaimed period as an actress despite some setbacks for her. Ongoing activism, according to writer and critic Hilton. Al's, her performances starting with They Shoot Horses, Don't They? Heralded a new kind of acting. For the first time, she was willing to alienate viewers, rather than try to win them over. Fonda's ability to continue to develop her talent is what sets her apart from many other performers of her. Generation, Fonda won her first Academy Award for Best Actress in 1971, again playing a prostitute. The Gamini Brie Daniels in Alan J. Pakula's murder mystery Clute, prior to shooting, Fonda spent time interviewing several prostitutes and madams years later. Fonda discovered that there was like a marriage, a melding of souls between this character and me. This woman that I didn't think I could play because I didn't think I was call girl material. It didn't matter. Upon its release, Clute was both a critical and commercial success, and Fonda's performance earned her widespread recognition. Pauline Kael wrote in June 2016, the Human Rights Campaign released a video and tribute to the victims of the 2016 Orlando Gay nightclub shooting. In the video, Fonda and others told the stories of the people killed there. Fonda starred in her fourth 
collaboration with Robert Redford in the 2017 romantic drama film Our Souls at Night. The film and Fonda's performance received critical acclaim upon release in 2018. She starred opposite Diane Keaton, Mary Steenburgen, and Candace Bergen in the romantic comedy film Book Club, although open to mixed reviews. The film was a major box office success grossing $93.4 million against a $10 million budget. Despite releasing the same day as Deadpool 2, Fonda is the subject of an HBO original documentary entitled Jane Fonda and Five Acts, directed by the documentarian Susan Lacey, receiving rave reviews. It covers Fonda's life from childhood through her acting career and political activism and then to the present day. It premiered on HBO on September 24, 2018, political activism during the 1960s. Fonda engaged in political activism in support of the civil rights movement and in opposition to the Vietnam War. Fonda's visits to France brought her into contact with leftist French intellectuals who were opposed to war, an experience that she later characterized as small-c communism, along with other celebrities. She supported the Alcatraz Island occupation by American Indians in 1969, which was intended to call attention to the failures of the government with regards to treaty rights and the movement for greater Indian sovereignty. Personal life relationships Jane Fonda has been married and divorced three times. She married her first husband, the French film director Roger Vadim, on August 14, 1965 at the Dunes Hotel in Las Vegas. The couple had a daughter, Vanessa Vadim, born on September 28, 1968 in Paris and named after the actress and activist Vanessa Redgrave on January 19. Caps, Florida, about 20 miles east of Tallahassee, the pair divorced on May 22, 2001 in Atlanta. In 2009, Fonda began a relationship with the record producer Richard Perry. It ended in 2017 in a 2018 interview, Fonda stated that up to the age of 62, she always felt she had to seek the validation of men in order to prove to herself that she had value as a person something she attributes to the early death of her mother's leaving her without a female role model. As a consequence, she attached herself to alpha males, some of whom reinforced her feelings of inadequacy. Despite her professional success, Fonda said that she came to see that attitude as a failing of the men in her life. Some men have a hard time realizing that the woman they're married to is strong and smart and they have to diminish that because it makes them feel diminished to bad we have defined. Masculinity in such a way that it so easily shamed Faith Fonda grew up atheist, but turned to Christianity in the early 2000s. She describes her beliefs as being outside of established religion with a more feminist slant and views God as something that lives within each of us as spirit or soul. She practices zazen and yoga, health as a child. Fonda suffered from a poor self-image and lacked confidence in her appearance, an issue exacerbated by her father Henry Fonda about that. Fonda said, in adulthood, Fonda developed bulimia, which took a toll on her quality of life for many. Years, an issue that also affected her mother Frances Ford Seymour, who died by suicide when Fonda was 12 on the subject of her recovery from bulimia, Fonda said. Fonda was diagnosed Does Jane Fonda have. Jane owns homes around Los Angeles, New Mexico and has ties to Washington, D.C. Fonda and her former partner Richard Perry once resided in a fantastic mansion in Beverly Hills. It's located in the Tourist Dale Estates among many celebrity homes of past and present. On Ocean Park, Santa Monica lies the lovely home available for rent that was originally owned by Jane Fonda. The three. Zero square foot house was built in 1902 and has been exquisitely maintained. Fonda previously owned a spectacular ranch in the land of Enchantment, aka New Mexico, located just outside of Santa Fe. The Immaculate Estate, best known as Fort Lightning Ranch, includes 23,000 acres and over 3.5 miles of the Picos River. There are no records of her car collection. How much does Jane Fonda make annually? Fonda has earned an estimated net worth of $100 million. Her 
annual salary is unknown how many businesses does Jane Fonda own. Jane is widely known for her career as an actress and activist. She owns the production company, IPC Films, where she's been able to produce films that helped return her to star status. How many endorsement deals has Jane Fonda? Jane has been able to amass a great deal of wealth from her endorsement deals. How many philanthropy works has Jane Fonda supported? Jane Fonda has supported numerous charities, some of which are the Alzheimer's Association, Barbara Davis Center for Childhood Diabetes, Elton John AIDS Foundation, Heifer, International Los Angeles LGBT Center, Oceana Peace Over Violence, and V-Day. Nickname Jane Gender Female Age 85 Years Old in 2023 Date of Birth December 21st 1937 Real Name Jane Seymour Fonda Profession Actress, Writer, Model Producer Nationality American Birthplace New York, New York, United States Religion Christianity Zodiac Sign Sagittarius Jane Fonda Education School Tisch School of the Arts College American Academy of Dramatic Arts Jane Fonda Career Profession Actress, Writer, Model, Producer Debut, Film, Tall Story 1960 Family and Relatives Father Henry Fonda Mother Francis Ford Seymour Brother Peter Fonda Sister Amy Fishman Francis D. Villers Brokaw Marital Status, Married Husband, Ted Turner M. 1991-2001, Tom Hayden M. 1973-1990, Roger Vadim M. 1965-1973, Children, Three Son, Troy Garrity Daughter, Vanessa Vadim, Mary Lou Anna Williams Past Relationships, Richard, Perry to 09-017, 